Well, welcome everyone to the Dad Connection. This is Keith Jowers, the host of the Dad Connection and founder of Dads for Life. You are listening to the Dad Connection as part of our Dads Radio Network here at Dads for Life, straight from our studio 425. Today we're going to be talking about the Big Mo. What is it? The Dad Connection is here now. So dads, listen up and let's put some positive learning experiences in raising what God has loaned to you while here on Earth. Your children... Your host of Dad Connection, Keith Jowers. No matter what goals we're reaching for, I am of the opinion that momentum plays a very important role in the success. The subject of momentum is a very interesting one, but it's also an elusive thing sometimes, isn't it? When you have it, you seem to look better to others. Momentum can be defined as a mass in motion. And sometimes people look at you and say, how do they keep going? Look at them. They get so much accomplished. Well, it's that momentum that we find within ourselves sometimes that help us reach our goals and look successful to others. Finding what motivates you and recognizing what motivates you at early enough is going to help you in any project or any goal, any kind of success that you're reaching for. Momentum is going to help you, but sometimes it's hard to be able to identify that. My wife and I met Dave Ramsey over 20 years ago, and, and we learned a lot about personal finances from Dave and his work that he's felt like he was called to do, and that is reaching and teaching many, many families across uh, the world, really, because it's an international program that he teaches called Financial Peace University. You see, Dave went through a very hard struggle in his earlier marriage with finances. So he learned how to do it right, God's way, and then he started teaching others. And now, after teaching it for the last 20-something years, my wife and I became counselors, and we've helped many others learn how to change the way they're doing things financially as well. You see, Dave's situation gave him motivation to change. And by changing the way he was doing things, he started building momentum. And that momentum led him into being as successful as he is today as he continues to carry on that mission as well as other things to help. You can learn more about Dave and the finances that he teaches to families at DaveRamsey.com. John Maxwell wrote a book called The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. And that's where he talks about the law of the Big Mo. And in this book, he talks about the different things that it takes to lead and to be a good leader. But momentum, having momentum is something that we have to find out what gets it going for us and keep it to help us be successful. There are two keys to the Big Mo, preparation and motivation. In anything we do, preparation is definitely a key. It's an action or process that gets us going, and gets us ready for the event. Motivation is what keeps us going towards that as well. It's the desire to act or, or be the stimulus for a goal. I like what my friend Zig Ziglar said once. He said, motivation doesn't last long, but neither does bathing. However, I do recommend it highly to do each day. Practicing preparation and motivation to help us build the momentum we need to reach our goals is something that we really should strive for daily. A quote from the late Steve Jobs may help you find the motivation that you need for your projects. Every morning, I stand and I look in the mirror and I ask myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? And whenever the answer has been no too many days in a row, I need to change something and I do it. So you see, we may have to do something differently to help us find the motivation that we knew we need to keep us going. In John Maxwell's book, I noted that he illustrates the story of James Escalante, who's a true hero that immigrated from Bolivia and became a teacher. And I personally believe all teachers are heroes. He wanted to teach computers to students as a teacher. But when he actually got the job as a teacher, once he finished his education, he found out that the school that hired him didn't have any money for computers. He wanted to teach computers to them, but wound up teaching math because that's the only thing they had. Once he became a teacher uh, to, of math, 
his momentum he had to find to help him teach that on a daily basis because that's not exactly what he wanted to do. Well, he found that momentum to help them learn basic math. The only problem is it was in the one of the most infested gang-led schools in the district. It had over 18 different gangs in that school system, or in that school, actually. Can you imagine? It was a huge school and had 18 different gangs in it. But Mr. Escalante didn't quit. He kept striving, and only a few would pass the test. And then more and more, as he continued to pour into these students on a daily basis. Mr. Escalante began teaching calculus and actually led many, many students to a successful career because he had taught them calculus. He taught from 1974 to 1991, and his dedication to the students at Garfield High School led to a film in 1988 called Stand and Deliver, which was the true story of James Escalante. Remember, he came from Bolivia to our country for a better life. He found it, but not only did he have a better life, he taught so many students the same because he found his motivation to lead him to the momentum he needed to be successful. He found the Big Mo, and his students benefited from it. He found the Big Mo. The students that succeeded behind him were very happy that he did. Momentum works and has a motion all to itself once it gets going, like a downhill rolling snowball. My friend Justin Kappen, who began a company several years ago called Justin Kappen Pro, he has a organization that helps people brand themselves and find the momentum they need to keep going towards building that company and that organization towards success. He's even helped dads for life here on many occasions. But he helps you find the momentum you need for what God has called you to do. He lives in a, a, a snow-covered area in the winter, of uh, the part of our country that has a lot of snow, and he takes his family out and they build snowmen. He talks about building the, the base and making it strong so it'll support the rest of the snowman. If you don't, it'll fall apart. So you have to build it right, whatever you're doing, whatever goal you're reaching for. But you have to build a strong base. Dave Ramsey also explores in his book, Entre Leadership, about the, he teaches about the momentum theorem. And that is focused intensity over time multiplied by God equals momentum. So if you do something long enough, if you do it focused enough, if you do it that you, uh, you're reaching your goals, a little bit of goals each day, and you're, you're focused on that until you get to the end, but you multiply that by God, you're going to find that it equals momentum. And I'll venture out to say it, it equals unstoppable momentum. And once you find that, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, you can accomplish a lot. So don't forget the God factor behind your momentum search. <laughs> Remember, focused intensity over time multiplied by God equals momentum. So what motivates you? Do you know? Do you need to find it? When you get frustrated, and get down, maybe read the Bible a little bit and maybe help you find the momentum you're searching for. But something inside of you will help you find the momentum you need to get going. I've had to find it myself several times in building Dads for Life for the last 17 years. It's a nonprofit organization and we've had a few partners over the years, but we don't have a lot of partners on a weekly or monthly basis. But we kept going. When the times I didn't want to keep going, we kept going. There's something inside of you of a dream that God has called you to do that you're going to keep going, whatever it is. And as long as it's helping someone and not hurting them, I'm all for it. So find what motivates you. Focus on it. Be intense. Multiply it by allowing God to lead you through it. And over time... When you're doing it, you're going to find that the momentum that lies within you will carry you far further than you ever thought it would. To so find the big mo, my friends, it's there. So this is Keith Jowers with the Dad Connection. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you'll check out our other Dad Connection podcasts and check out our YouTube channel, Dads for Life. And we are excited to be with you each time that we come with a new lesson in life. 
you want to learn more about us or you want to reach out to us, you can reach us at dadsforlife.com. May God bless you all. Thanks for listening to the Dad Connection Podcast with Keith Jowers. For more inspiration, motivation, guidance, and encouragement, visit keithjowers.com. And make sure to follow Dads for Life on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. 